What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have one big custom figure video for you guys. We have seven different customs right here, all made by myself, so I'm pretty proud of each and every one of them. Some of them I have posted on Instagram already and have received a ton of positive feedback from you guys, so thank you so much if you follow us on Instagram. Um, we post all of our customs on there, so if you're not following us right now, it is My Damn Toys, just like on the YouTube channel, except with any spaces in between. But again, these customs, some of them have been posted on there, some of them have not. And some of these are sort of old. I think one or two of them were posted a while back, and I never had the chance to show them in a video, so I wanted to get it up to you guys and show you. So what I'm going to do is go through each individual one, review it real quick, and show you guys all the stuff that I did to them. Some of them are just part switches, so some of these you can make yourself if you have the parts, and some of them do require paint and all that good jazz. But we're going to go through until we get through the entire batch, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Alright guys, starting things out, we have some figures that I have not painted on at all. This is all just part switching and torso cracking and just a little bit of uh, that stuff. Some simple things, no painted required on here. But with Chavo, what we did was uh, take the Los Matadors Elite and this, I don't remember which one it is. It's one of the two. And I had a Chavo head in my fodder bin, so I just popped that on there. And then I put some Alberto Del Rio boots on there. I do need to remove that logo. Um, if you know Chavo Guerrero, you know that he rocked the uh, black and gold uh, boots just like Eddie um, when they were the Los Guerreros in the Ruthless Aggression era. So what I did uh, was remove the red with some acetone from the bottom of the Los Matadores, and that was pretty much Chavo. He was pretty easy. Um, I did switch the hands with some Alberto Del Rio hands as well. So um, the Los Matadores had green tape on there, so I had to remove that. And then Eddie Guerrero right here, it's the Hall of Fame Target exclusive Eddie Guerrero head scan. It is an Alberto Del Rio shoulders, torso, and arms. And then the other Los Matadors lower, same acetone uh, paint off right there. And then the Hall of Fame Eddie boots. And I think it looks really nice for an Eddie Guerrero. These guys, again, these I know the attire isn't accurate, but I think it works really well for Los Guerreros. And I'm very happy with the way they came out. They got a ton of great feedback on Instagram, I still need to remove those tattoos off of Eddie's back. Those are Alberto Del Rio tattoos. But now we're moving on to the next custom. Up next, guys, we have a custom sort of fantasy attire, Seth Rollins. And what I did was pretty much combine a bunch of Seth Rollins parts from all different figures and then threw some Ric Flair four horsemen legs on there. So what we have is the Elite 25 Shield uh, Seth Rollins head scan, I believe it is, with the Elite 37 torso, crotch, and shoulders. And then we took some Elite 45 Seth Rollins arms, painted the white on the wristbands black, and then threw some four horsemen Ric Flair upper legs on there, some Elite 37 lower legs from uh, Seth Rollins. I wanted to put these on there because I like the silver tying in with the uh, design in the trunks and the uh, wrist gauntlet things. And then threw some open knee pads on there. I really like the way this came out. I think it's really sick. Even though it's not accurate to anything he's ever worn in the ring, I think it's cool that these look like trunks. I think they tie together nicely. It would be cool if it had something on the back, but I still think it works nicely. And again, this is just so, sort of like a fantasy Seth Rollins that I threw together out of my fodder box, but I was happy with the way it came out. So now we're moving on to the next custom. Up next, guys, we have a custom Elite Batista, and I posted this on my Instagram a while back. It may have been a month or two ago, maybe even longer, but it is basically just a Batista that I mixed all sort of parts together, sort of like Seth Rollins. And this was sort of my idea for, like, if he returned today, and I know that there are some um, some rumors going around that he could be returning, but I didn't want to have the uh, trunks. I wanted to go back to his old attire. So what I did was take the either Elite 2 or Elite 6 crotch, and I wanted to uh, keep the trunks because I think the trunks are really sick, how they say Batista in that blue color and pink with a dragon on the back. I really love that attire, so I wanted to keep that. So we went with that crotch. I did a torso swap and um, shoulders and arms, of course, is from the Elite 30 Batista. And then what I did was take a, I believe it's Elite 30 Batista head scan as well, and I painted it up to look sort of like Dave today. Um, it's got, you know, the 5 o'clock shadow and then the shaved head. I thought it turned out pretty nice. That is custom painted. And uh, the legs I switched with the Elite 30 as well. But I uh, kept the uh, upper piece from the uh, old Elite because I wanted to have the uh, newer tattoo. So I had to do that. And then, of course, I threw his uh, older boots on there because I like these a lot better than the plain black. And then, of course, he has his Elite 30 uh, Batista knee pads. And on the elbow pads, I have the old ones because I love the way the logo looks. And I think it looks really good on the figure. So 
that is pretty much it for this Batista. I know that Batista has more tattoos now. He actually has some more on his stomach and some other things, but this is all we have in figure form, and I was not about to do, you know, all his tattoos. But that is my Batista. I also wanted to uh, have a cool Batista to have if I ever brought him back in the pick fed or put him in the pick fed at all. So that is my reason behind that. But now we're moving on to the next one. Up next, we have a custom Elite Neville, and this is fantasy attire as well. As you guys may know, I did make this for Venomine Figs. And he is one of my good friends. I made this for him for his birthday. Sent it to him for completely free. He is a huge Neville fan and he is a great dude. So I wanted to make him a custom. What we did is take the new Neville basic head scan. Which I think looks better than the new Elite that came out in my opinion. I have a Cody Rhodes um, Elite 32 torso and crotch and upper legs I believe. We took some uh, John Cena biceps and used some Neville forearms to put on there. Um, I painted the bicep bands on there. I have the uh, Spider-Man sort of uh, things painted on his gauntlets, that webbing on there. And then on the trunks, of course, we have that Spider-Man logo. I wanted it to be sort of modern looking Spider-Man, so we put the little uh, webbing design there, some gray on the outsides. Uh, really happy with the way that came out on the trunks. We have blacks on the sides. And then on the back, we have some more, uh, one more big spider logo with webbing as well. In the legs, we put the uh, basic 74, I believe, Neville knee pads. I painted the quads and uh, the upper legs because uh, he wears the wraps or knee braces behind his knee pads, so I thought that looked pretty cool. And then the lower legs and kick pads are the Elite 42 Neville kick pads, but I just removed the purple and white design. So very happy with the way that came out. I don't think I've ever showed you guys a complete review on that. Um, the reason I have this back in my possession is because Venomine wanted me to touch up the paint because it had chipped a little bit. So now that that is complete, I can send it back to him and move on to the next one. Up next, we have a Custom Elite Dolph Ziggler that I made to use in my pick fed. And it is sort of just a uh, mix-up of all Dolph Ziggler figures and other parts. But uh, as I show you guys right here, um, the biggest part of this is just a bunch of part swaps and then in the trunks... Um, you see this black added to these trunks. This was the Elite 19 as the base. And the show off and all this used to be like a... Uh, the black on the trunks I sort of added myself. But the black on the uh, show off part right here was like a... Either like a beige or like a silverish white color. And I wanted to add black in there to uh, tie into everything. It sort of just popped in my head. I wanted to make a cool Dolph Ziggler attire. So this is... Basically, the result of that, I was up late one night, and I was like, you know, it would be really sick if I just painted this up black. So I filled in the DZ, filled in some of the areas on the trunks with black, and then, uh, of course, the show-off part. And then swapped the head scan with the uh, updated Elite 48 Dolph Ziggler scan. Replaced the arms, used some big cast basic or elite arms with uh, some Dolph Ziggler Elite 48 hands. Some smaller knee pads and then the Elite 39 Ziggler boots because they're black and I love these boots designs. I wish that they were sculpted and not just uh, painted on there but I love the way these boots look and I just had to use it for this figure. So you will see this Dolph in the pick fed and I know it's been a while since we posted a pick fed episode but it is coming very soon guys I promise. But now we are moving on to the next custom figure. Up next we have this MDT Custom Fantasy Attire Triple H which I am absolutely in love with. I think this is one of my favorite figures. This, the Dolph Ziggler, um, and maybe the Roman Reigns are my favorite figures in this video. I just, this really just popped in my head suddenly, sort of like Roman and a few other figures just sort of popped in my head. And when these ideas pop in my head, I sort of just run with them. But right here we have the Elite 35 Triple H, and what I did was custom paint the trunks, and I painted the design on the trunks as well. Um, I'll zoom in on this in just a second, but... Uh, I replaced the legs with Elite 42 legs because I wanted the white tape behind the quads. I think that looks really good, especially with the white in the attire. I painted up the WrestleMania 32 Triple H knee pads. You know, the uh, middle of these crosses was red. I painted that black to have that white outline with the black and white full, uh, you know, idea of the figure. And then replaced the all black boots with Brian Pillman boots from his Elite 47.5, and I think that really ties it together, especially with the black outsoles and black laces. I really, really dig this Triple H. Probably one of my favorite Triple H's in my collection. I just love the way it and the entire thing came together. But now I can, oh, I forgot the uh, head scan is also sculpted by Showstopper Custom Figs. Um, I think the bearded head scan really ties it all together as well. It really makes the figure look badass. But right here, I can zoom in on this so you guys can see the uh, design in the trunks that I painted. Um, I didn't completely flip-flop, you know, the design is completely white, but I filled it in with black, and instead of doing some of the lines that were sort of crazy, I left them the way they were, 
and I think it worked out nicely. And then here is the back of it. Um, sort of sloppy on the back. Not as proud of the back as I am the front, but I really love this AAA. So now we can move on to the final custom of this video. And last but not least, we have this MDT Custom Elite Fantasy Attire. Roman Reigns in the entire white attire right here. Spinning him around, um, you will see that the entire thing is completely white. And I absolutely love this thing. I had the idea to uh, do the white attire. I'm still waiting on the decal from Curb Stomp um, to put right here. It's going to be a gold and black and white sort of logo. It's going to look really badass when it's all tied together. And um, by the time that this video goes up, it'll probably be completed. So hopefully that is the case so you guys will be able to see what that looks like. And if it is, I'll be able to put up a picture in this editing. But this right here is so bad. I love the way this thing came out. I love that um, the all-white cleanliness of it. Um, I put the CM Punk elbow pad on there because I thought it would look nice. If I got two of them, I'd probably put both of them on there. Um, I went with the gauntlet hand. I don't know. I just like the way this looks. But, um, yeah, that is Roman Reigns. I literally took an Elite 45, I believe, Roman Reigns, and completely painted the entire thing. All of the vest, the wrist, the hands, the legs, the boots, all of it is completely painted white. And I really love the way it came out. Hopefully when those decals get here, I'll be able to show you guys exactly what it looks like. Maybe, uh, I hope it's really badass. I just really wanted that white and gold to really pop off. And I think it'll look really, really sick up next to the Elite 45 Seth Rollins, I'm sure. But anyways, guys, that is the last custom. All right, guys, so that is it for all of the customs all the way through. I am happy again with the way all of these came out. My custom skills have definitely gotten a lot better since the day I started collecting these figures. I'm very proud of my skills. I actually have some confidence in myself now to be able to paint some things up for you guys. And if you ever want a commission done, please don't hesitate to hit me up in my Instagram DMs. I am currently open for orders. I just got a lot of them done, so I am ready to ship those out. So I am open to commission orders right now. So hit me up if you would like anything done. Again, you will need to supply the parts if you want um, the cost to go down. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below what your favorite custom or customs are from this video. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.